I'm here today outside the world famous Salford Lads Club in Salford, Coronation Street. Uh, you will obviously remember, or hopefully remember, the Smiths album cover. Uh, we've been kindly invited down today by Leslie Holmes. The, he's the curator, he looks after the building, he does a wonderful job. And Leslie's going to give us a guided tour. Uh, he's going to tell us all the facilities that are available, the potted history of the club. We'll be looking in the archive room, we'll be looking in the Smiths room, and we're just going to have a good look round. And will you please join me? Hi, Tony. Hello, oh, Leslie. Great to meet you. you. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. So, w welcome to the Club. Yeah. What a fabulous, fabulous. How long have you been associated with the club? Um, I started here in 2002. Yeah. But I've been working on the estate, doing projects about the local area and the maps and the pubs and all sorts of things. Mm. Um, before that, from about 19. Um, 94 or something. So I've been here a long time. Yeah. I've become almost regular. You know, I'm, I'm like um, a local. Uh, I come from York originally, but right. I've, well, I've been semi-accepted as a yeah, an honorary uh, soldier. Yeah, yeah, an honorary yeah. <laughs> This is fabulous, isn't it? Yeah, and it's great to put things. You know, we, we've we've raised a lot of money here over the last 20 years as well. We've probably mm. raised about nearly two million pounds, yeah. and we've put back as we've, we've had to improve facilities, but we've also put back in place a lot of the heritage and right. that is really crucial to this place because yeah. it's about inspiring young people. That's the point of it. Well, that was what the club was founded yeah, for, wasn't that's it? Right. Yeah, that's yeah. well, Keep them off yeah. street corners yeah. and instilling yeah. them boundaries. Yeah. Well, we've got that card over there where we, um, you know, we're looking at when the, the building actually opened, um, August 24th, 1903. So this year will be 120 years. Yeah. And if you think about how many of these places have disappeared, of course. There used to be 21 of these clubs in Greater Manchester alone. Yeah. Um, and we are the only one, intact one, left in its original form. And in fact, we're the only lads club left in the whole of the country in its original form. So it's oh, the yeah. rarest wow. form of uh, Is it a listed provision. building? It's a listed building, yeah. When I first came here in 2002, um, it wasn't listed. And, yeah. and I, um, you know, this, this was, it had to be listed. So course, yeah. we made the listing. And you know we're thinking oh, it might be the, get a reasonable listing, and it's listed as the rarest example in England even then. And um, it's in Salford. Know. So yeah, and that's and it's on Coronation Street. So we've got a lot of kind of um, things yeah, going all, for all us. All the box that's it. Yeah. The little lads, God, I yeah. Hope that'll have seen some sights, won't it? All the yeah. young kids coming yeah. in over the yeah. years. Well, they still use it today for registering kids when they come through the door. Right. And, you know. Um, Could you show us uh, some of the building? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is the junior games room, and it's the heart of the club even today because it's got a kitchen counter there. So yeah. when kids are in at night, they can get uh, toast and snacks and drinks. What nights um, are you open for the children? Um, there is young people coming in here um, every night of the week, um, so it's fantastic. You know, we've got uh, nearly 260 children a week in here now. A week. Um, and you know, things like the wars have affected places like this, but COVID, mm. and really post-COVID, our numbers have increased dramatically. Because kids want to do something real. Yeah, yeah. And one of the things they really want to do is go camping. Mm. And this is a tradition here that started in, um, that's the first camp in 1904. And as we go around here, this is every camp that the club has taken part in right up until this year. This year we had to do three camps. Yeah. We had our first girls club camp um, right. and we've had a junior lads and a senior lads. So it's just fantastic. Again, it's an inspiring thing. And mm. if kids can see, oh, we might be able to go somewhere of outside, of, outside of Salford into the yeah. countryside. Yeah. And that was a thrill in 1904. It's a thrill in 2023. I'm trying to imagine for a young boy of, say, 12, 11, in 1904, before the Great yeah. War, a day out into the countryside camping. Yeah, you can't, you can't imagine it, can you? Yeah. It's not just yeah. taken out of the s smog and grime of Salford yeah. and taken to the greenery. Yeah. And for three years, they actually went as far as the Isle of Man. Did that? So they'd set off by train from, um, uh, from, from Man, probably London, yeah. London Road Station, yeah. um, and then they'd go to Liverpool, and then they'd catch a packet steamer to the Isle of Man, and then they'd go into the countryside in the Isle of Man. Adventure. That was quite an incredible, an isn't adventure. it? Um, and then they've been to Bridlington, they've been to uh, quite a few different parts of Wales, uh, but for a long time, they settled in Aberystwyth, yeah. and that carried on, really, until COVID. Um, and then the, the site was closed down for a couple of years, and last year, for the first time, we went up to Leighton Street. And this so is the tradition's still carrying on then, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. Then. And if we go over here, there's a couple of names you probably yeah. might know. Uh, we've got a young Graham Nash on our <laughs> picture here. 
Um, so it's Graham Nash there, um, as a young lad, oh, yeah, camping yeah, with the club. Yeah. And the guy next to him was called um, uh, Georgie Shaw, who also became a musician. He was in the Big Ben Banjo Band. Oh, yeah. And he still did a lot of, I've seen him doing a lot of busking around and all sorts of things. And just above there, we've got the Reverend President Mike Sweeney, who went to camp with Salford last <laughs> three times. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, uh, it's great. And we've got Mike on film from yeah. 1963. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So Graham Nash has visited the club several times, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, it came, it came once. It was it like um, um, 50 years after he started. And yeah. we, the BBC were filming him here. And it was, we showed him around. And uh, he went up on the stage in the concert hall and sat on the stage and said, this is where it all started for me. Yeah. You know, he, st he started to learn banjo and harmonica here. And he met um, Alan Clark, Harold Clark as he was. Mm -hmm. And they went on to start the hobbies. So, oh, I mean, yeah, yeah right. what a kind of starting point. Good Salford lad. Yeah, that's what we like. <laughs> All right, lovely. So we'll go down. We'll have a look at this. Yeah, we'll um, have a look. Carry on. Amazing original pictures here of the rooms in um, early days. This was 1912, when gymnastics was the main sport here. Mm -hmm. It wasn't football at that point. It was gymnastics. Yes. So we've got one of the lads here on these. The bars are still there. We've, we've retained that, but they would have had ropes and rings on them. Um, and you've got all the junior lads on that balcony watching the event um, and probably kids straight from work, straight from school. Mm. Um, and this is the exact spot, isn't it? Yeah, Looking yeah, back. yeah, it's, it's unchanged basically, yeah. Absolutely. At this point, I think the, that part of the balcony has not been brought forward. They actually yeah. changed the... Who put the photographs? Any idea? Um, they used to, a lot of the, like a lot of the camping photographs, they, they had photographic companies come in and do this. These right. clubs are so big. If you imagine this was, there were 21 of these clubs. This was by far the biggest in Greater Manchester. Mm -hmm. And the opportunities for photographing football teams, gymnastics teams, and camping holidays was a big job. Of course. So there was a lot, yeah. there was a lot of work for um, yeah. the people recording all these events. And luckily, you know, they, they are it's been remarkable saved, things. They? Yeah, yeah. So these are all different rooms in the, in the club here. Great one of the concert halls. Let's have a quick look at that. That's, that's the other big space. Yeah, um, I know that. So, yeah. you know, again, we've put um, similar lighting back like that at the moment, and it's right. just, it just looks almost like the same, apart from the Bentwood chairs, which we don't have anymore. Um, so, yeah, am so amazing spaces. And this floor is the original floor from 1903. It? Yeah. It's, uh, wow. It was so well, I mean, it cost £10,000 in 1903, which is an absolute fortune. Mm. Um, and they made it, it with the strongest. Yeah, craftsmanship, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, and it, because it was the last of these clubs, the way the designs that people did, I mean, Henry Law did this, you know, he was the great Salford architect, mm. didn't he? Um, but he, they were copying other designs, and there was um, the Flory in Liverpool, I don't know if you've heard of that. I've it, heard it of it. It's called yeah. the Florence Institute for Boys, and it's like a giant version of this place. Right. You could fit this inside the concert <laughs> hall, I think, there. It's in Toxteth. That's been um, restored, mm. uh, but the pattern of the outside of the building is just so, it's like so it's just similar. incredible. Yeah. I've got to ask you about this. Yeah, like. yeah. I mean, this is since I've been here, the, the archives are just sensational. And in 2016, we've created this room here. So come and have a look. This was the old fives court. So there were originally these archways here had three yeah. fives courts that went right up to the top of the building. Yeah. Um, and the bits we've retained, we've we've put a floor in. It's a it's a reconditioned. Um, squash court floor, mm -hmm. but fives was this kind of hand, you know, yeah, yeah. you hit it with a leather glove and things. And we've got the bar, that's the original bar from the fives court, and the two pillars there, uh, which would have, been, would have been a fence. So this would have been open. Uh, and like I say, because it was gymnastics, oh, yeah. you could have these open courts on yeah, here. Yeah. Um, and w I mean, the, when I first came here 2002, one of the first things I saw, and, and Brian Ball was the secretary, he's still a, a volunteer here. Um, but there was this old uh, Draper's shirt cupboard um, in the office, and it was stacked with all these cards, which were all the old membership cards. And I'd never seen anything like it. Mm. I'd, I'd, I'd loved museums and old collections, and yeah, this was well. like, it was the, the Holy Grail. Yeah, the Tooting um, so, over. Yeah, so let's have a look at one of yeah. these cards here, look. Um, so fortunately, we've got every single member's card since wow. 1903, first, the first day open. Albert Bagshaw. Yeah, and he was somebody born in 1895, and a lot of them, when they were first, they were working at 13, and for a lot of these kids, the first job was 
they couldn't really find them much to do, so they mm. called them nipper boys. I was going to ask you, what about nipper <laughs> boys? Yeah. So it's like, oh, can you nip next door with that truck, ah. the, the, the tea? <laughs> yeah. uh, take this down, nip downstairs. And he went on to be an errand boy. So, I mean, that's a fantastic kind of, of starting course. point. But it actually got them out of the gangs and off the streets. No scuttle at all. Um, yeah. yeah, so I mean, that was the point of these places. They were set up to get these, you know, to, to improve um, teenage lives by you know, giving Thank them... God, these were saved. Yeah, it's just remarkable, isn't it? And luckily, uh, all the generations here, um, uh, Bill Seddon, Archie Swift, all these people, mm. they've always wanted to save all this stuff. Yeah, and mm. so, quite you know, rightly, uh, yeah. It, and we, um, one of the first things we did was we, we got some boxes to put all this and store these in proper archive boxes. Do these are the members? Yeah. Uh, all, all these boxes at the bottom down there. Yeah. yeah. So we've got 22,500. <laughs> um, and they've all been scanned by Ancestry. They came yeah, to yeah. us, they were doing a big project in Manchester and one, uh, somebody brought them here. And right. th they were just amazed again. They said, well, we'll do this for nothing and we don't want... So they haven't got them, they're just no. ours. Yeah, yeah, um, but they wanted the record of them. Yeah, um, and then we've, so what we've done with that then, we've databased these, that the next job, we, we spent about 18 months Collating taking all the names on there, so we've got all the... Have you got a William names. Mansfield by any We chance? should have a look. Mans Mansfield. Mansfield, yeah, right. like the town yeah. in... Uh, yeah. 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 Yes, you asked me to see if your grandfather's here, we shall have a look. You did tell me you did attend the club. He may have been a member, he may not, so we Yeah, it doesn't always, some, sometimes kids came for just a short course, while yeah. and then moved on and, you know, and they, mm. remember, they remember coming in. Mansfield, where are we? Marsden. Mm. Could be the other way, wouldn't it? Where are we looking? M-A-N-S. Mans. I don't think that's on there, is it? No. No. Nope. Jez, your granddad didn't exist. <laughs> he may have <laughs> attended the club, Jez, but yeah. sadly, he, yeah. he, he probably just used to visit on an ad hoc basis, yeah. hasn't he? He yeah. wasn't a fully affiliated um, member. Yeah. So, I mean, just to have... I mean, that's four lads outside yeah. 1903. That's one of the first pictures I found in the archive as well. Uh, mm. just, you've got Regent Road there, full yeah, of all the cool. shops. and Coronation Street still yeah. in the background. Yeah. But these are lads in... They've no teenage identity. They're just in work clothes. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder what happened to those lads when the Great War was coming, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'd been of that age where yeah, they were... Yeah, And obviously, Eddie Coleman. Yeah. Um, yeah but so that's, his, that's a blow-up of his original card. Yeah. Um, so incredible details on these cards about where he started off. The Vinarchi Street, of course, they're all mm -hmm. known. Um, and then joined the United Ground staff. And then eventually, unfortunately, they died in the, in the Munich air disaster. Oh, that's a great good, reminder. Yeah. What a wonderful... So what we've done then from that database, mm. we've created this wall that, behind you. That wall is um, just So incredible. it goes from A to Z, um, and it, there's, uh, it's just got everybody's first initial and yeah. then the surname. Is it an alphabet's Claudia? Yes, yeah. yeah. It seems there's a flick on there. And it's like laser-cut steel. Um, and it Am I allowed to touch it? Yeah, yeah. It won a UK Design Award in 2016. That is amazing, um, isn't it? Yeah. And the, the people who designed it, um, a company called Why Not Associates. Well, there's a tiefling. <laughs> have we got <laughs> a couple of tieflings? How many friends have we got up there? Like, um, uh, there's a lot of them. There's about six or seven, isn't there? Oh, no, it's two rows. D Flynn, E Flynn, yeah. Yeah. U Flynn, J Flynn, J F Flynn, J M Flynn, L Flynn, T Flynn, T Flynn, T Flynn, <laughs> W Flynn, W Flynn. <laughs> this is an incredible. Yeah, yeah. It's a piece of art as well, isn't oh, yeah, it? As yeah. well as a well, uh, I think it's it's just a record of a, a spot in time. So, yeah. boys who were here in 2015 and 10 years old are also on this. Yeah. But we had to stop. There has to be a point where we said that's what it's <laughs> How about. How many names is it on it? Twenty-two and a half thousand. Um, and a third of the wall would be second-generation Irish. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's very much like Liverpool and Glasgow. Exactly. Industrial yeah. city where yeah, people came from everywhere. Looking for work, yeah. Um, but we've also got a lot of uh, Maltese names. Um, yeah. There have been, you know, a lot of Maltese Zombie, families Camarera, coming here. Yeah. 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 Uh, so somebody here last week, and they were, um, we, we, we looked at a name and said, oh, I said, where do you come from? I said, um, originally I'm Maltese. And I didn't, so a lot of names, you think, mm. are kind of standard names, and they're actually... A lot of settled on Trafford Road, didn't they? By yeah. By the docks and that, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Rip has come around yeah. and he's done it, yeah. yeah. So we've got Graham Nash on here. Um, so there's Graham Nash there. Um, oh, yeah. And when we showed him around, Willie. we were looking at that. And I said, said to him, do you think your dad came here? He said, oh, no, I'm sure my dad wanted to come here. And then we said, well, let's have a look. And we looked back in the card index and we found his dad's card as well. Right. And he was really quite moved with um, I can imagine. He was very yeah. fond of it. Didn't well, know, everyone should be yeah, honest with didn't, didn't know that, that, that history at all. Uh, and I think that's what happens a lot of the time. That's you get people coming yeah. and they're maybe looking for their uncle or the granddad. You find something you else. You find something else, yeah. Um, last Saturday, absolutely fabulous, um, where the big family came and they were looking for um, Robert Roberts, the, oh, the, the writer yeah, the classic of the book. classic slum, the yeah. ragged school days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she thought he might have come here. And they lived in Waterloo Street, which is the other side of um, Liverpool Street. Yeah, that's right. Um, so sometimes kids would have gone to Adelphi who went there. You can usually tell by their dresses, because mm. kids are very tribal. They just stay around their yeah, own area. Yeah. But when we went through, we found his card. And that was an absolute thrill for everybody um, oh, on Saturday. Wow. And this happens regularly. You know. Another famous member. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. Harold Riley's on here as well because yeah, the illustration yeah. in the book we're looking at about Excellent. the ragged schooling was well, yeah. Harold Riley. Oh, Salford's creme de la creme came here mm. and still do. And still do. Yeah, you see, I mean, I think when we get visitors from all around the world, we can also engage with them because it's mm. like you say, well, what are the, the most common names in Rowan or wherever? Because we've got Smith and Jones are our key ones, of course. Yeah, of course yeah. And we have, we've got 215 Smiths. You've got an individual Smith's t shirt, haven't you? Yeah, we have. We made a t shirt. <laughs> we did a rubbing of that yeah. and we've made, a, we've got three different coloured t shirts of it. Is there a Morrissey on the wall? Or what there's that? quite a lot of Morrisseys. Because yeah. there's a Morrissey family from this area, yeah. haven't they? Um, there's two rows or three rows oh, of Morrisseys. Yeah, yeah. Um, so all the Smith's names, Ma, Joyce, Rourke, Morrissey, yeah. are, again, second generation second Irish. Second Irish, so, yeah. yeah. Morrissey, 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 Morrissey. Stephen Patrick, you aren't, is it? Yeah, well, I mean, he lived in Stretford, so he's yeah, not, he's not going to be on. Yeah, cast, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, shall we go and have a look of at course, this we're next gonna, weird room? We're going to have a further look around now. Follow us, walk this way. Where are we now, then, Leslie? Um, we've moved on from the, the archive room, which was original five court, mm -hmm. and this also was an original five court. Um, but because by early nine, like that picture we saw of the gymnastics, there were so many kids using the building mm. that all these courts that went three stories up. Um, there was they need to use it for something else. So yeah. they put floors in and then made this into, it became a, a weightlifting room. Right. Um, and a changing room for a long time as well. Yeah. When I came 2002, this was all boarded up. Um, and there was a little doorway through where we'd just been in the archive room. Um, and I, I went in there, and it still had all the old weightlifting pictures and the old weights. And I thought, ooh, there's something, something could work with this. Yeah, yeah. And we had um, a music, um, a Radio 6 music programme here to do with 25 years after one of the first Smith tracks came out. And some fans came from all over Europe. Mm. So I took them into this room on that day. And I said, I know you're always outside. Um, um, what do you think about us sending a picture in? And we will add it on here. I rashly said that. And if you want to leave a message, mm. we can add that. So. Uh, 2004, then we opened it as this, we call it the Smith's Room. Smith's Room. Can we look in? Yeah, please come in. Oh, all the post it notes of love. <laughs> Gosh. Wow. <laughs> I've got wow. I've got a photograph, of it. I should have brought it, but I should have done it. Um, I took my son to, well, we used to attend regularly Old Trafford, and he's got his United kit on. Mm. Uh, I've got an overcoat on, stood in the Smith's doorway, the Smith's doorway, the, the main doorway. It's like our marsh to the Smith's. Oh, out here, in the front? Mm -hmm. Oh, send it in. We, 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 <laughs> we add them all the time, or I do. Um, yeah, so I started off by, so we've got all the original um, weightlifting yeah. stuff in here, um, and things like that. This was the... Um, the, the kind of weightlifters heroes, so the, the Russian gymnastics and, oh, yeah, and yeah. Uh, you know, in 1970s. So we've got all these things and it's got the diner tape look. So they were very careful about putting this together as that. Mm. Um, and, you know, we've got over here, we've got some of the old weights um, here. Um, so we've, we've kept all this in place yeah, and yeah. then I've just added around this. And, um, you know, it's just... 
are always Incredible. post-it notes or things. Are these from fans they've left there? Yeah, yeah. With homage to yeah. Smith. Like I said, we are um, after the Cavern and Abbey Road. This is the third most visited third. music tourism site in England. I've passed um, sometimes, and I've seen Japanese tourists outside. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'd like to mention Debbie Jones, a friend of mine, she was in California. Oh yeah. She yeah. came over from California just to pay homage to the Smiths. Yeah. And yeah. she came in yeah. and had a photograph yeah. taken. Debbie, it, just for you, that. Yeah. But if we think about the value of the Smiths, about this area and things, yes. the, the, you know, the, the songs that the Smiths wrote were very much inspired by. Sheila Delaney. Correct. That was Morris's big obsession. Mm. Um, obviously, she's both families are from this estate. Yeah. We've actually traced both families back to that war of names. Right. Um, and I think you know Morris was coming around here talking about the same issues that Sheila Delaney was yeah, about the breakup of community. Um, mm. And you know, people from that date that those first records came out, they've wanted to walk down Coronation Street and yeah, stand outside yeah. this club. Uh, so that you know, the, the, it's powerful. It's become. A massive pilgrimage site. Of course. Yeah. Um, in December, which was just last couple of months ago, I had a coach party from Buenos Aires. If you can imagine that. Um, and uh, you know, ev every week we get people from different parts of the world. But when you get a regular coach party coming, that's quite. Yeah. <laughs> so you can imagine they're coming all this way. It's not the right question to ask, but I will ask it. Is directly or indirectly is that Stephen Smith's boat on the Smith Link? Has it helped the club financially? I think it saved the club, to be honest. Do you? you know, I think everyone here knows that. Yeah. Um, if, if you've got, if all these clubs were in their own little areas, these lads' clubs, there's only certain things happen. We're on Coronation Street. Mm -hmm. um, so things like, you know, if you think about Gorton Monastery, Victoria Baths, yeah. they were all helped by culture, about uh, film shoots and everything else. And mm -hmm. this has been part of that. And the Smith's picture started that all off. Yeah, it's iconic. So it, it, it is, you know, it's a crucial bit of the history here. And the fact that now we get so many visitors, they will buy merchandise. We sell merchandise all over the world. Mm -hmm. And it says Salford Lads live on it. Straight in the uh, word, isn't So it? it's, it's just amazing. I've got people in um, uh, Illinois, for instance, who've mm -hmm. never been here, but they buy every one of our T-shirts <laughs> and they send me pictures back of wearing a T-shirt from Brilliant. different parts of the States. A little bit um, of Salford everywhere. It's, it's right? incredible, yeah. And the amount of people who will just come through that doorway there and burst into tears is just, mm. you know, it's that, that's an amazing yeah. thrill when that happens. Um, so I eventually start, you know, I started off on the walls, but if we go down to this end here, um, so, we, we, you know, people are coming because of the Smiths and because of Manchester music, it's, it's broader than the Smiths. It's the Smiths' influence on Manchester music. Um, but when people come in here, I think, well, can you whistle a Smith song? And I don't <laughs> think any of them can, but they can all whistle this song <laughs> here, look. Um, Tony Holland was a member Oh, yeah. Did, 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 there you did, go, you see. Wheels. Yeah. Wheels. That's right. That, yeah, yeah. See? yeah. So, and again, again, people from all <laughs> over the place, they know that tune. Um, so that, that's him as a younger boy there. The Berlin Ladies Club. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, an, it's incredible there. Um, Be kind to one yeah. or I'll kill you. Obviously. There's the Ting Tings there. Yeah. They did a music them, yeah. video yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, of course. Did they? They're, they're, from, they're from Salford. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. yeah so That's not my name. Yeah. Did, was that a film? No, yeah. they did Bag Raiders oh. Remix. Ah. Um, but then we also get fans of theirs from South Korea coming here. So you've got all those kind of connections. That mosaic, was that the one from Aflex Palace? That's it is, right. that's the original one. Yeah. 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 Um, the woman who set up Aflex Palace, um, she fell out with um, the owners eventually. They mm. wanted to, they thought it was, they wanted to gentrify it. And oh. so she, f she then decided she would take down all the original mosaics. And actually Mark Kennedy did that one. Yeah. And Rob Lally was Rob, working yeah. with, um, as we know, uh, Rob, working yeah. with uh, Mark Kennedy. Um, so it's, it's fantastic to have that donated here. Um, so and eventually I ran out of space here. So <laughs> if you just stand back a little bit, Tony. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, we have another wall behind here. Oh, the secret wall. <laughs> wow. And we have uh, yours truly <laughs> up there, Mike Sweeney. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, that side. Yeah, no, but yeah. just behind him there is Mark, Marky Smith Mark, from the yeah, Paul, who Mark. came in 2003. He sadly died, didn't he? Yeah. Years back. We've got. Um, That's a Morris lookalike there, isn't it? Amazing Morris lookalike. If you, I've, I've met a lot of tribute bands yeah. who've been here, but he's the only one who's so uncanny that he looks like him. It's not the Smiths Limited chap, is it? No, um, it's, he's, he's gone back to Viva Morrissey or uh, in, that, in that group. 
Uh, and when the uh, Royal, uh, Royal Exchange did Taste of Honey, they actually brought the cast here and did the photograph outside. <coughs> so we're doing the whole thing with coming back to Coronation Street. You've had Peaky Blinders film here as well, haven't you? I yeah, we've done that. three series of Peaky Blinders. And again, we, you know, fans are coming now. There is a coach tour of the north of England looking at all the Peaky Blinders Sets. Uh, set, um, locations. And yes, yeah, yeah. They're coming here as well. So it just all these, you know, we've, we've done Forsyth Saga with Damien Lewis. Um, the most recent one we've just done is Nolly. Oh, right, uh, yeah. And we did Ridley Road where, amazingly, uh, Richard Trushingham was here. No. So we got a fantastic picture of oh. Richard Trushingham outside the building here. And there's um, Nigel Pavaro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Terry oh, well, he came, he lived in, um, in, in this estate. Yeah, 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 of course, Kenny Douglas. Yeah. No, it's, it's incredible. And I think, I see, talk to a lot of I've fans. I've just seen one photo, I've got to say something, <laughs> I know it's rude. Wedding party. Yeah. You do weddings here now, don't you? We do weddings, not only in this building, in this room. Is this it? is the most popular uh, wedding uh, room in this building. Yeah, so we um, plight your troth to Morrissey in this room. <laughs> Smith, <laughs> we, but we had tea parties here going back to 2008, but we, we, didn't have, we couldn't put actual ceremonies on it because we didn't have a licence. Yeah. And eventually, about five years ago, the Salford Registrars came to us and said, look, we've got a lot of people interested in using very different locations. Yeah, yeah. And people said, we'd love to have a wedding here. So we've, they came along and we've now got four rooms in the building where people can get married. Nice. The wedding party, Texas. Yeah. <laughs> My God. No, it's incredible. And, it's, um, it's just you know, amazing, isn't it? Uh, in the last year, we've had eight weddings, and, uh, and four of them have been in this room. Um, so, if you want to get married, you're a Salford fan, or you're yeah, yeah. fan of Salford, which everyone should be, come and see Leslie and get married. <laughs> He's not marrying you, they do have a chat. <laughs> yes. Uh, we're here at the moment in the concert hall, concert room. Would it be concert yeah, hall? Yeah, the concert thing, hall. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. But it's Salford Lads Club. It's Beautiful building, and the acoustics are spot on. How many people, famous people, we've played here? Do we know? Um, a lot of different. If we think about Graham Nash, who was uh, pictured on the stage there when he yeah. came back, um, and he said it all started for him here. Um, but like you were saying, probably the last one last time you were here, Billy Bragg was on stage. Oh, there Billy Bragg, and it was part of a music the convention. It was one of the slits. It may have been Harry up. I'm not sure. But yeah, yeah. Um, we've had uh, Liam Frey did a solo gig here. Yeah. We've had Frankie and the Heartstrings. We, d we tend not to do gigs, we do a lot of talks. So, yeah, in terms of, yeah. um, we've had uh, Noel Gallagher, um, uh, who else have we had? Um, Peter Hook, um, a lot of musicians come. Uh, Sean yeah. Ryder, they've all done talks here. So, we yeah, of course. it's so close to housing that having kind of live music is a bit of a, not, not a great one. So, but we get, a, you know, an audience of 150 for things 150? like that. 150? Yeah, so that it's fantastic. <laughs> and we, if you think about this room here, we, this is a project we've, we've done. Um, Boys used to play netball here, which was very, I thought oh. was really strange when I first came. Mm. And it was because in World War I, we lost so many volunteers and young people that when all these clubs got together in 1919, they couldn't run eight football teams. And they all sat down very pragmatically and said, is there a game we can play which has only got only four or five players? And they, right. and they all started playing netball, all these clubs against each other. And it went on until World War II. Um, and that's the photo you've recreated. These are all the kids here who played netball during that particular year. Yeah. And we just we, we thought, and we've got these pictures going back to 1923. Mm. And I just thought we'd really see if we can recreate that whole image there. Um, but well, it's amazing. Down to the know. fruit, haven't you? Everything. Yeah. Well, some, you of those, some of those cups and plates yeah. um, are actually the real, uh, you know, we've managed to, we've still got some of those. Yeah, yeah there you go. I was on the stage where this picture had been taken. Oh, so. Why they got on the <laughs> picture, eh? Well, we've got oh. people like um, some of the volunteers who've been a long time. Archie Swift yeah. uh, was joined here when he was 12. Um, he's now um, 87. Um, we've got Brian Ball, uh, Dennis Lucas, Dave Connell, oh, Bill Seddon. Um, people have got generations of families as well from here. You know, I mean, there's the two like um, Bill there. His brother is actually on that picture there, oh, yeah. and he, he joined the RAF in World War II, and he was only 17, uh, and, he, and he died as oh. a rear gunner. And Bill really has spent his life here again, and you get all that kind of connection going on mm. where this was important to them, and they want to give it all back to this, this area. So yeah. it is amazing stuff, really. So what, what a great job the Lads Club is doing. 
if just say children, not children, boys and girls, if they want to join the club, what is the criteria? Um, they've got to be nine years old, mm. um, and generally, I think a lot of these clubs, you, you, you can walk here, you live on this estate, basically. Mm. Um, so it is for local kids. Yeah. Um, and if they want to join a girls' club, we've got a girls' club here, we've got junior clubs, um, and we've, we've just started a drama club. And we think, oh, would drama work here? We've got 42 kids signed up for drama. Uh, it's just incredible what goes on. We have a girls' football now, that, that's, that's picked up because of the... The women winning the Euros, mm, and course, we've tried yeah. it for years, and we, we've only had this one or two girls want to do it. And now we're every Saturday morning. Now we've got about twenty girls doing training, and they're playing on Sundays. So it's fantastic what goes yeah. on, you know. And so there's a whole range of different things that people can do here. And Dave we're Connell, joined. sorry, yeah. Dave, he's a friend of mine. He's he's a stalwart of the club, isn't he, Dave? Oh, with they're the fantastic. Yeah, I mean, Dave's. Um, been a boxing coach here for a very long time, mm. um, and he's done adult boxing, and he does the junior boxing still. Um, mm. And you know, he, he comes on Saturdays as volunteers for the open days. So they're just fantastic people, and they've got stories about the history of this club. And yeah, if somebody, if visitors come, they can be taken round by any one of those volunteers, and they get a different story. It's interesting that you, you don't different have one story about yeah. Salford Lads Club. You've got all these stories about what they've done since they've been here, and where they lived as well. That's really important. You know, because this area was so damaged by all those streets being knocked down in yeah. 1960 and 70. Yeah. Um, and it affected a lot of people. Mm. And I think this club, with all that wall of names and things, is even more powerful because of that. Yeah. Because people have no evidence of where they lived. They've got no evidence of which school they went to or anything. Yeah. But they can come here and they can find that record card. And I think that is uh, it really Wonderful, isn't um, it? amazing. It is. A lot of working class families... We just moved around constantly, mm. um, and they, you, you, you've got you, no you, roots, you, have you no identity? And you lose address. things as well. You, mm. Every time you're moving a house, you know. I mean, I, we moved about five times when I was younger, and things are thrown away every time. And by the time you get into groups, you've nothing left of your history. No. And this place has got everybody's history in it, and I think that's the, the power of it. Should we have a look at the other? Is it yeah, the we'll go through into the, we'll the, the boxing. Look now at the boxing. So we've got three gyms here. We've got the boxing ring through there. We've got this bag room through here, and then we've got a motor gym through there. Um, and you know, uh, we've got three new skylights in here, which we put in during COVID for ventilation, extra ventilation. Yeah. So it's up to date and things, and just great rooms and great spaces. Do you say that Fred Dawn paid for the boxing yeah, ring? Yeah, uh, he, he paid for the whole of this renovation of the boxing area. Did he? Yeah, it was one of the first big projects we did, really. So it's, it's, it was great to get Fred here for that. Yeah, and Fred came as a boy. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's very proud of his roots. He's paying, his his paying yeah, back, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's an amazing picture in here of Rocky Marciano in Salford. You probably know the picture. Yeah. When I was, I got an email from somebody in Canada, and they're saying, um, my great granddad, I think he boxed at Salford Lads Club, and they became, you know, very famous boxers. And so I, I went downstairs, found their cards, both of them, Billy mm, and Ted, Ted Marchant, yeah. and they were nipper boys. Nippers like on the so other card. On those cards. Yeah, That's great to find that. And then I went to Salford Local History Library and found my photographs. Yeah. And yeah, then we know there. that's them. So it's matching up all these things. The jigsaw, know. isn't it? Yeah. Just like Tony Soprano, doesn't it? It's, <laughs> like, it's brilliant, isn't it? It looks even bigger with the shirt on, doesn't it? The marching. Think I think there's about five of them, wasn't there, there? together? The, fa yeah, the fighting yeah, marches. Yeah. There's Jim on Gardner Street. Yeah. Well, there's a fantastic one of um, Dave Connolly yeah, with his moustache on. Yeah. Um, our guided tour has sadly come to an end. I've had a fabulous time, I really have. Even bought the T-shirt. Uh, I'd like to thank you, Leslie, for yeah. conducting the great tours. Show, and honestly, we had a great time. Um, volunteers, do you need, still need volunteers at the club? Yeah, I mean, this club has been run by volunteers since 1903. We have paid sessional staff to do the yeah. activities and things. But uh, for all the clubs we do, whether it's a girls' club, a lads' club, um, even a drama club, we need people helping out. Of so uh, volunteers are very welcome of, of any age, really. Mm. And, you know, they can do, they can help on open days as well. Um, so there's a whole range of different uh, skills that people can get. But this place relies on that. Yeah. And I think if people can give up some of their time here, it might be one night a week or one day time. It would be fantastic to keep this place going. And we we'll definitely do it. And just contact you via the, the last Yeah, we've got itself. a website and we've got yeah. Twitter, social media and things, uh, emails. So, yeah. Yeah, please get in touch. Please do. And also, if you're loaded, you've got lots of money. Give this man money. 
you need it. You've got to keep Salford Lads Club's got to keep going. It's an institution in Salford, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And it does such a great job with the kids. It's people say to me, Oh, there's no need for a youth club. It's like there is. These kids are not on the street corners, are they? No, no. They're still taking the values from what the Groves family said, isn't it? What yeah. nineteen oh three it rings yeah. true. And you do a fabulous job, Leslie. I've had a great time and uh, support your local club. Thank right. you.